Taylor Duncan is 24 years old and a man on a mission. After years of trying to fit, on, on, fit in on sports teams, he set out to start a baseball league geared to athletes like himself with special needs in his home state of Georgia. He's working to bring his league, Alternative Baseball, to Maine. 207's Peggy Kaiser spoke with him. Well, I was diagnosed with autism at the age of four where I had speech issues, sensory issues, and anxiety issues growing up, and my mother helped me through a lot of those obstacles, but I continue facing a lot of those preconceived ideas of what one with autism can and cannot accomplish. That often kept me out of having the same traditional opportunities as everyone else. It was time for me to provide this opportunity for others like myself who don't have the same luxuries. At what point did you have the opportunity to begin playing baseball and realize that maybe some of those things that you thought weren't available to you really might be? I learned how to work with others on a team setting. I learned what it's like to build work ethic. I learned what it's like to communicate with other team members throughout a game and how important it is to progress. You have to have those skills in order to be successful in the employment world in the private sector as well. That energy of your experience prompted you to start Alternative Baseball. Started with a grand total of seven players. <laughs> But we made it work. I mean, we kept spreading the word, word of mouth. We got started with who we had. Eventually, we had enough to split off the two teams into scrimmage teams. And then eventually, we had enough to start our second program after, they, after those like myself graduated out of high school, especially with what I've had to see and live through as well and experience being denied so many times. And there's no programming for... Yeah, 1920, young 20s, that sort of thing, which is where you find yourself. Correct. And okay. because so this, of that, that's why we're here to fulfill the need. This took hold in Georgia, around Correct. your area. How big is, the, is your program in Georgia? Well, we have several programs. We ha I, I believe we have about eight of our programs in Georgia, but many of them are in different states as well, all, all the way out west to Maui. All the way out east to Watertown, New York. New York. Okay. <laughs> you have to have the New York accent to say that. Well, Taylor, that is a lot of work. And you are the CEO of this effort. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And I don't ever consider it work. I don't consider it a job. I feel like I'm called to do this. I feel like I'm supposed to devote my life to this, be able to promote other opportunities for others just like myself so that they can have something to go to and feel like that they're a part of society. They want to feel that self-worth. They want to be encouraged to be the best they could possibly be. And we push their boundaries so much so that we push them beyond really what they think that they could have ever done. The, the, when the opportunities in your life were positive, and I know they weren't all positive in terms of what in relation to sports, but when they were positive, what did they do for you personally? I've had the blessing of my mother being as willing to openly willing to learn as she's been and her doing everything she possibly could to get me to where I am today. Mm. And all my teachers and coaches and mentors I've had through the years who've really helped me as well. I mean, I really wanted to pass off everything that I've learned from the social skills side to the physical side, everything possible that I've learned through the years. I want to make sure that others have the same chance to experience that same thing. So now you got your sights set on Maine. How did you get? How did you decide that Maine was a place that could benefit from alternative baseball? Well, still score. well everyone deserves the same opportunity to have that same chance and experience as everybody else everywhere else that we've started this program and we want to make sure that is it is accessible to those as many as possible throughout the state of maine we need that coach manager we need multiple coach managers one for bangor one for portland and one for augusta we need to find the players because it takes a long time to find the players because of the lack of opportunities so a lot of them Basically, they go home after graduation and nobody ever hears from them again because they don't have the opportunities in their areas. You know, there's a lot of positive things that I've learned that I could really teach others just like myself and be able to pass on to those in, our de in a lot of our different areas mm -hmm. where we start alternative baseball and 
I mean, I've always been one who wants to learn as much as I possibly can. And I've always been one to really tell as much as I possibly can too, because I want to be out there. I want to be helping people. We all still have the chance, regardless of what we go through in big and small ways to help each other and to be able to create a much more positive and productive society as much as we possibly can. Okay, so here's the deal. They're looking in Augusta, Bangor, Portland for volunteers and coaches to sort of get this program up and running. And if you would like to learn more, we have a link in the 207 section of our website and mobile app.